Hey church, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Today I'm in Oregon worshiping and teaching a couple thousand guys at Men's Roundup. If you are a Men's Roundup guy, thanks for joining us here today. I pray this will bless you. We're going to be in John chapter 16, verses 32 through 33. Listen to what Jesus says, his own words. Yet I am not alone, for the Father is with me. I have said these things to you, that in me you may have peace. In the world you will have tribulation, but take heart. I have overcome the world. You know, what Jesus preaches here is profound. Listen to these two statements. I am not alone, and I have overcome the world. Those are divine facts and truth. And what Jesus does here is a wonderful example of what we should do in our lives. We should rightly preach to our wayward emotions when we come upon our own trials and tribulations in this life. We should say things like, I am not alone. In fact, we might need to say it out loud like Jesus did here. Keep in mind, Jesus is just moments from walking the road to the cross. And in the shadow of that great tribulation, he is still teaching his disciples and preaching the truth to them, even to himself as an example for us. That's what he's doing here. But Jesus doesn't stop there. He preaches another divine truth that is pointed at a future reality. He states this, I have overcome the world. (laughs) Those five words are powerful words, and don't confuse this with some psychological pregame pump-up speech. That is not what that is. This is a statement of divine reality based in a future win, because unlike players before a big game, Jesus knew that he was going to win. (laughs) He knew he was going to win. So if you're facing a trial or tribulation right now, maybe you should take some time to preach to your soul. Preach a divine truth based in a future reality. There are two right here in this text. You are not alone. And he has overcome the world. Use those today. Preach them out loud to your wayward soul. And make sure you listen to that worship song from Mac Brock below. It'll bless you. Love you guys. See you right back here again tomorrow.